there's actually many layers you need for a workable quantum computer from the you know hardware quantum level all the way to the stack of classical control electronics the real goal for people like me and my team that make the quantum computing hardware is to have the ability to do the quantum operations with less than 1% errors on average, which means the fidelity of the operations is better than 99%. Today we have achieved exactly that. We have demonstrated better than 99.9% .9 fidelity of quantum logic operations on each individual qubit, 99.3% on the two qubit operations, and 99% fidelity in preparing and reading out the information in the qubits. So now we have all the ingredients necessary to start building a scalable quantum computer. This was obtained in a silicon chip where the quantum information is encoded in the nuclei of phosphorus atoms implanted in the chip. And the whole system is fabricated with a method that is adapted from the same manufacturing methods that are used for the classical computers and mobile phones that we use every day. Our device contains three qubits, two nuclei, and one electron that wraps around both of them. Each of these qubits can be easily controlled using magnetic resonance. But the tricky part is how to make a two-qubit operation between the nuclei. For this purpose, we have used something very cool called topological phase. You see, in quantum physics, if you take a spin and make it rotate full 360 degrees, it doesn't just come back to the same state, it gets a minus sign. In practical terms, this means that the rotation of the electron causes the rotation of the second nuclei, but only if the first one is pointing down. If instead the first one is pointing up, the second one doesn't move. This is a two-qubit logic gate for nuclear spins. The same operation can be used to put nuclear spins in a quantum entangled state, which is a key resource for quantum computation. To prove these qubits were really good, we had to confirm that they could execute quantum logic gates, basically machine language instructions for qubits, with really high fidelity. We developed a totally different approach called gate set tomography. It's kind of like a medical CAT scan, but for qubits. We ran a lot of different programs, and then we synthesized their results together to make a high resolution picture of all the logic gates. And that picture confirmed really high fidelity gates. The reason nuclear spins make such great qubits is that they are extremely well isolated from the rest of the world. But this raises the question, how do you scale up a nuclear spin quantum computer? Here we have the solution. Use the electron spin by adding just an extra rotation to the electron. We can create an entangled state of all three qubits. And now the electron can be entangled with other distant electrons, which are themselves entangled with their own nuclei and so on. And we know from previous experiments that the electron can even be moved across the device while retaining its quantum information encoded in it. As it happens, the quantum gate fidelities better than 99% have been demonstrated at the same time in two other experiments on silicon qubits. The whole silicon quantum computing community is reaching this level of maturity together. The free circulation of ideas and people and even materials has been really important for our community to grow to this level and we are really excited to continue on this path.